Hello everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, welcome back. And today I wanna to talk about five foods to eat more of because these foods are especially nutritious. They have some amazing properties to them, which we are gonna talk all about today. I'm sure that some of you guys do, in fact, eat a few of the foods that I'm gonna be talking about today. But if not, then I hope that this video serves as some inspiration for you for the next time that you are out at the grocery store. These are some of my favorites, so let's get started. Food number one to eat more of are sprouts. Sprouts are absolute nutritional powerhouses. And the reason for that is because tiny little sprouts are the very beginning, the budding of what would be a larger plant. They're loaded with things like bioavailable amino acids, live enzymes, B vitamins. So I am talking here things like broccoli sprouts, mung bean sprouts, alfalfa sprouts. There are all kinds that you can try. You can also also, of course, sprout your own sprouts. Um, I haven't sprouted a whole ton in my life, although I would like to get into it a little bit more. I have sprouted green lentils, which I have um, the kind of how-to instructions up on my blog if you want to check it out. But if any of you guys out there do your own sprouting, let me know. Someone also asked me recently how they can make the most out of things like legumes when they're eating them, and sprout them is what I would uh, say to do there. So when you sprout beans, in this case, you can also sprout different kinds of grains, but sprouting enhances the nutritional quality of the food. It also makes it a little bit more digestible as well, so easier on the stomach. Food number two are fresh herbs. I'm sure a lot of you guys love different types of herbs, even in herbal teas and that. I mean, I have a lot of different dried herbs in my cupboard for cooking that are awesome, but I really want to emphasize fresh herbs here. So I'm talking about things like fresh basil, fresh parsley, cilantro, rosemary, and thyme, and mint. And again, fresh herbs contain so much good quality nutrition. A lot of them have really unique properties to them as well. So things like cilantro uh, are known to be good at helping to chelate heavy metals, so it can be good for detoxification a little bit. Um, mint is great for digestion, especially like peppermints specifically. And even rosemary, there's some studies that have shown that it can help to aid focus and memory. I love making homemade basil pesto with fresh basil. Delicious. You can make it into like a pasta. It's really, really good. But try throwing them into smoothies and, you know, looking up some recipes to use with them because they're amazing. Food number three. This one might be my favorite, and that is mushrooms. I know for most of my life when I've gone to the store, um, I just don't really think much about mushrooms, but in my life now, mushrooms are probably one of my favorite types of food, and they have so much more nutrition than you would actually think. They're rich in things like B vitamins, which are really important for energy, especially energy for our cells at a cellular level. Um, other things though, like different kinds of minerals, like magnesium and selenium, and even vitamin D. But there are so many mushrooms out there, mataki, oyster mushrooms, portabella mushrooms, cremini, did I say that one? Shiitake mushrooms. I would say shiitake is probably my favorite mushroom to cook with. One of my favorite ways to cook with it is to saute a bok choy with shiitake mushrooms, just chop it all up, put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, that is it, and let it saute for about 10 minutes or so. It is such a delicious side dish with dinner. And of course, I cannot not mention some other mushrooms here being chaga and reishi. These are some of my um, other favorite kinds of mushrooms. I love these ones by the company Four Sigmatic, who is sponsoring today's video, and you've probably heard me talk about them in a few of my previous videos. I love Four Sigmatic. I love their products so much um, because they, it basically makes getting more mushrooms into your diet a lot easier. So especially if you have, if it's like a texture thing with you with mushrooms, with maybe you don't like the, the texture of them, all of Four Sigmatic's products are in powder form, so really easy to add to smoothies, to make different drinks with them. You can make different kinds of lattes. I love making a chaga latte, which I just make by mixing a little bit of water with the chaga powder in a mug to remove any clumps. And then I heat up some almond or coconut milk with some maple syrup usually, and then I'll froth it until it's really nice and foamy. 
homey. I like the taste of chaga. It's very earthy and it's incredibly high in antioxidants. It's actually one of the highest sources, food sources of antioxidants. And reishi is known for being kind of good for, for stress, for kind of calming a little bit. If you check out their website, uh, really easy to navigate. You can search through their products by the different benefits that you might be seeking. You can also get 15% off of your first order if you click the link in the description box below. Food number four to eat more of are spices. Stock up on a couple more, even some ones that maybe you haven't tried before because they're wonderful and they actually do contain a, a good amount of nutrition. So turmeric, for example, uh, which you can buy in powder form, is really anti-inflammatory. You've heard me talk about turmeric in the past, probably if you've watched some of my kind of food-related videos, um, but that bright orange pigment is what um, the active compound called curcumin is responsible for. and really Really good for inflammation also really good for liver health as well but even like ginger there's so many different ways for us to make use of these kinds of things cinnamon is really interesting actually because there are studies that show how it can help to aid blood sugar balance cloves are amazing because of their antibacterial properties oh the list goes on the list really goes on leave me a comment below what your favorite spice is that you like to cook with yeah, I would say mm, I cook with a lot of cinnamon. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. Fermented foods have definitely kind of grown in popularity over the past several years, but with good reason. Fermented foods are really good specifically for our gut health because of the probiotic bacteria that they contain. And also fermented foods tend to be digested a little bit better because they have been broken down a little bit through the fermentation process. So things like sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurts. I have a homemade coconut milk yogurt recipe here on my channel if you wanna check it out, the full details are on my blog. I'll leave that linked below. But kombucha is also great, which is a fermented tea beverage, and they're just wonderful, wonderful things to be consuming regularly. Sauerkraut I really quite like, kind of on the side with dinner or in salads, kind of on the side, a little, you don't need much, even just like a spoonful or two is great. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I will leave links below to as many recipes as I can that I have on my blog that include some of these foods so that you can kind of uh, get adventurous and start experimenting in the kitchen. And again, if you want 15% off of your first Four Sigmatic order, check the link in my description box below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.